I've been watching a lot of Rebel Frax videos lately, and his artwork is just inspiring. And I haven't drawn like a straight up drawing in a long time. And I mean, I've always doodled and you know done different little sketches and stuff like that. But this is one that I actually went all the way through, shaded and everything. And I've always been. Uh, I, I don't really like using pencils that much. I use big pens. Um, just your regular, regular big pen. Um, you got to use the round sticks if you're gonna do what I do. It's really the only pen that doesn't bleed, doesn't get globby after a while, um, and it seems to shade really good. Because believe it or not, you can shade with just a regular ballpoint pen. Um, I, I was gonna do like a a speed drawing thing, but I mean, I sat down for a couple hours and did this. So um, I drew Nas because I like Nas. He's very laid back. I love his music, whatever a lot of people do. But so I drew him. Uh, I got. Hold on a second. I got Scratch magazines. I don't know if you've ever heard of Scratch. Hold on a second. Oh. Right, I got them one framed up here. Scratch. It's a good magazine. Um, I don't have my subscription anymore. I need to renew that. But uh, it, it's like for hip hop production and stuff like that. For underground producers and even big name producers and uh, I took a page out of there it's not nice with will I am um so I took that page out of there and <clears throat> so I gotta lay it flat and get good get a good view of it and everything and I sketched this and um I mean this is all done with pen so let me get a good close up on there for you. You can see all the cross hatching and it I mean you can see it's not really shaded perfectly or anything, but I don't know. It turned out pretty good. And it's tough because like I don't know, I, I, I don't really do portraits or anything like that, but this turned out I don't know, really good. So uh, let me know what you think and eventually I'm gonna do one of those well maybe not like a speed drawing thing but you know I'll, I'll edit little pieces out because I ain't gonna speed up my video it looks like shit when I do that on here um, so yeah anyway um and the way I figured out how to use a ballpoint pen like that a Bic pen was uh, my aunt Teresa she she was a great artist I mean she all she did was draw and and goof around doodling and stuff and and she was awesome she was really a cool person and um, she recently passed away but um, the uh, the thing that I remember the most about her is that she always was drawing she always had artwork you know and she was always paint not painting but like you know doodling and uh, she showed me that you could use a big pen to do that and I mean I maybe I kind of knew that but she actually showed me that it, it could be done and I don't have her artwork anymore but she gave me a it was a <coughs> similar to that but but it was all pretty much in two dimension um it was all pen and it was like a a silhouette of a woman walking kind of walking out of darkness into light and she had this like this shadow coming behind her but it was all in two dimensions so it was really yeah, it was two dimensional. How else am I gonna say it? <laughs> but, but it was really cool. So, and that inspired me, right? And then, as I got into that was in junior high, and as I got into high school, I do not remember the girl's name, but there was a girl that only used big pens for her artwork. That that was like all she did, and that's when I saw that you could shade with it. <clears throat> it and it blew my mind. I was like, what? You can shade with ink? You know by drawing instead of you know painting like a a comic book or whatever and so 
so I started trying it and and uh, you know I whatever it, it took off I guess so so now that's pretty much all I use because like if I'm at work or whatever there's always a pen laying around they're not big pens but you know they still kind of work the papermate pens they suck um, they get globby after a while even when you're writing with them I'm sure you've figured that out that they suck and um, my idea behind the the NOS picture here <clears throat> is to uh, take NOS and put like somewhere in the background I'm gonna have like Guru and Premiere and like all of my my favorite hip-hop artists um, you know as far as like East Coast hip-hop pretty much I'm not gonna put like Dre and Snoop in there or anything I mean I don't know I just figured I'd keep this you know East Coast New York Philly stuff like that um yeah so I'm gonna tend to ramble in this one I guess <laughs> figure maybe I'll make this a little bit of a, like a confessional type thing to give you a little background on where my drawing took me <laughs> my drawing actually took me in a bad direction a few times and I got in trouble because uh <clears throat> I'm a huge fan of graffiti and always have been like I can remember when I was a kid and you'd be sitting at a or we'd be sitting waiting for a train to go by and we'd see all the graffiti go by and I would just be like oh you know I gotta try that and um that was when I was 13 14 very punkish I was a little punk back then and um me and my friend Sean we we started doing graffiti and I went we we would go around kind of by our neighborhood but it wasn't real close by and we'd hit up the storage buildings and, and we did train you know trains and train bridges and overpasses and things like that too but um we kind of shot ourselves in the foot or I shot us in the foot because uh all of my friends were uh we all had our own names as far as our graffiti goes and um when I was in high school I was probably high as hell <laughs> and uh I was sitting in class and, and I drew out like the wall that we had done where all of us had put our names on there not our names but you know our our tags and um like it said drop and then like all of us maybe I'll draw that and show you what it looked like because it looked badass and whatever but anyway so <clears throat> balls this is gonna be a deep one today